Hi everyone, in the video version of this week's chat, I've taken out my audio, left in your audio, in an effort to tighten things up and make the reviewing of this chat a little more efficient. So we began this chat with your questions, and the uh, first one is about to come up. I first asked you if you could hear my audio, and you replied. This is Darren of Can you hear me? And then I also told you that I could hear your audio. I do encourage everyone to bring a headset and to practice using the VOIP instead of text chat. VOIP is becoming the norm, the standard for communication and second life, and so I encourage you to do that. After we got our audio set up, Darren asked the first question, and here it is. I had uh, I had a couple questions pertaining to uh, the Damani player. I was trying to use it up in the platform one, I believe, um, but. Uh, I can't get it to work. It says I need to deed it, but my option to deed it is grayed out. The ability to stream audio or video into Second Life, especially in a player like the Damani player, is dependent upon the permissions you have on the property where you are trying to play it. Because National University does not yet have its own island developed and you cannot have rights on that island. We have to use a property owned by other people. Because we have, we're using property owned by other people, there is a problem with giving permissions in deeding to groups for the Damani player or other kinds of media players such as the Cody player. Now this will not be a problem once you A have your own land or your own property you can deed it to that property that you own or B once National University has an island and you are a registered student at that island and you are a member of any group set up on that island that has permission to deed objects and to stream media. During this course, however, and this is an excellent problem for you to learn from, you will be required to learn about permissions and learn about deeding and in order for those things to happen. Okay, is there another option as well? Yes, indeed, there is another option that we talked about. We're going to go to the Sky platforms and we're going to set up your Damani player using the permissions uh, in group affiliation that I have on that parcel of land in the Sky platforms where you'll be doing your final project and you will be able to use any media player that you wish on the Sky platforms for your final project. Another issue that came up, and I believe this was brought up by Wesley, is the difference between a slide viewer and a media player. No permissions other than the permission to build are required to use a slide player because the slide player displays only static textures or static images. However, permissions are required for a streaming media device such as the Damani because in Second Life each parcel of land is allowed only one media URL. You can have as many versions of that media player streaming that single URL as you want, but only one URL per parcel of land in Second Life at this time. Okay, so I'll, I'll just send you the links then. Exactly. 
If you wish to use a Damani media player or any other video player or audio player on your land, excuse me, in your final project, all you have to do is to tell me which one you want to use and to send me the links to whatever media that you wish to stream. And then you and I will work together, and I look forward to showing you how it's done, to put those URLs in the media player. Okay, I have another question then too, if no, if no one minds. Um, the question is, uh, I want to add a note card to an object, and I believe I did, uh, which we can take a look at when we get, get up to platform one. Um, but I can't seem to test it. Like if I click on the object, it doesn't prompt me that says, hey, there's a note card here, and I wonder if that's just because I own it. In addition to the note card, the object must also have a note card giver script in order to work. You're absolutely right. There definitely isn't. So I'd love to know how I'm supposed to put that in place. The note card giver script is placed in the contents pane along with the note card and will deliver that note card when prompted. Okay, fair enough, but maybe what I should say is how do I attain, obtain a note card giver script? Using a note card giver script was the subject of the week three skills demo video that is posted in the classroom and is also on the Damani viewer directly behind David. So watching that video will give you more information about note card giver scripts and how to add them. Uh, during this uh, time, I also went around to each avatar in the cottage and gave each avatar a note card giver script. These note card giver scripts are free in Second Life and can be found using the search function in Second Life. If you are listening to this video and you were not able to attend the chat and you do not yet have a note card giver script, please IM me in Second Life and I will deliver one. That's awesome. That'll make life a lot easier.